Now today's gonna to be a fun one. We get to do a head-to-head -head comparison between two electric BMX bikes, the Project BMX by Evolve and the Shadow by Chimera. One being $3,099 and the other one being $2,890. And neither of these brands are sponsoring today's video. But with that being said, we do have a video sponsor for today, which is Phantom Wall, which we'll be talking about momentarily. Today's comparison is gonna be all across the board, price point, specs, build quality, and so on. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. But first, a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Phantom Wallet. Phantom has wallets that can fit any budget, any style, have RFID protection, and come with a lifetime warranty on all models. Whether you want something simple, slim, and on a budget like the Phantom S that can add accessories like a money clip, coin holder, or an AirTag, or if you want to have something a bit more high-end like the Phantom X that is all aluminum and can add accessories like a coin holder, cash holder, ID holder, silicone band, and more, or if you want to go full minimalistic like the Phantom C MagSafe wallet that can attach to your iPhone, all great options to keep you organized and minimalistic on a budget. Thanks again for Phantom Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Now the Chimera Shadow and the Evolved Project BMX come from the same roots in BMX with the overall aesthetics, but where they really differ is on the spec sheet. Let's dive into that. Starting with the frame, fork, and handlebar, both the Project BMX and the Shadow are made out of chromoly, while the Shadow specifically says that their bike is heat treated and the Project BMX does not. Both have a claimed weight of 45 pounds, and from what I've experienced while riding and on this screen right here, only one is actually telling the truth. Next, let's talk about the wheels. On the Project BMX, you're given two different options of wheels, one being a standard spoke wheel, like you see here, and the other one being the Skyway Tough wheels, which I'm riding here today. The Shadow comes with Chimera front and rear hubs with female bolts laced with 14 gauge spokes on double wall rims. Both bikes are using Kenda tires and have front and rear brakes. The Shadow is using Magura CT brakes with a 180mm rotor up front and a 160mm rotor on the rear that is super responsive. While the Project BMX is running Evolve branded mechanical disc brakes on the rear and a standard old school brake pad setup on the front. From my experience, this setup is pretty much useless on this bike. Next, let's get straight into the motor and battery setup and talk about the power and speed both of these bikes have. Starting with the Chimera Shadow. The motor is a proprietary Chimera 5000 watt in-runner motor using a high drive powertrain that is designed from the ground up. The Shadow is also using an ASI BAC 855 controller. The battery is a 36 volt 15 amp hour battery pack that is built in-house. As well as the added option of swapping the battery out for a 52 volt 8.4 amp hour battery pack at no additional cost. The Project BMX has a Bafang M560 motor that is a 48 volt 500 watt mid-drive motor with a max output of 750 watts and is being powered by a 36 volt 9.6 amp hour Samsung battery pack with a unique design under the seat. Now the Shadow doesn't have a display, but you do get a very intuitive app to be able to customize your bike. While the Project BMX does have a standard egg display, but personally I find these things pretty annoying because they're usually the first things to break when the bike falls. Now when it comes to the customization and accessories of your electric BMX bike, whether it be the Project BMX or the Shadow, you actually can put any traditional BMX parts on both of these bikes. But one of the best features about Chimera is the fact that they have a vast catalog of different parts already ready to go, such as handlebars, cranks, stems, bolt packages, hubs, and more. Now with all that being said, let's talk about the speed test between both the bikes. All right, straight from the skate park to a speed test and brake test. Now, this is gonna be perfect because most of the time when I do these speed tests, I have pedal assist levels I gotta go through. Well, this doesn't have pedal assist at all. I have to do all of this under my own effort, which, I mean, you already know how a traditional bike rides, but I wanna do this test because I wanna see if I'm capable of keeping up with what this motor can actually put out. So with that being said, oh man, I'm probably gonna regret this. Single speed action, the whole distance, and uh, we're gonna see what the top speed is. Let's go. Oh my God, with a gnarly headwind too. I'm gonna be so gassed. Oh my God. Woo. Oh man, now that was some effort. All right, so I'm gassed after that one. Let's get straight into the throttle only. We're off. So much torque, this thing moves. Let's get low, got this headwind. This is much welcomed with how much effort I just had to put in. We're gonna try out these Magura brakes. You already know what these brakes are capable of. I'm not gonna burn up the tires. Let's try it out here in three, two, one, had to pump them there. Woo, McGurr brakes are so good. 
no better brake to have on your bike. I guarantee you, you will never look back if you have a Magura set up on your bike. Let's go check out the stats. Oh my God, I'm so gassed. All right, so putting in all that pedal power, I traveled a total distance of 841 feet with a max speed of 25.5 miles per hour, which I'm really impressed with. An average speed of 23.2 miles per hour. And the time's kind of off, but let's just say I probably did that in about 30 seconds. And like I said, in my opinion, with 90 plus degree weather right now and the sun is cooking, I'm pretty proud of that top speed. Let's see what the top speed of the throttle only is. All right, under throttle only, I traveled a total distance of 919 feet with a max speed of 26 miles per hour and average speed of 21.8 miles per hour in 27 seconds. That's actually pretty good. I traveled 25.5 miles per hour under my own pedal power and straight to 26 miles per hour under throttle only. Do take into consideration, it is really hot out here today and there's a really gnarly headwind. All right, so with the Project BMX speed test and brake test, if you're unfamiliar with how I do things on the channel, I do a speed test through all five pedal assist levels, showing you what the output is out of each level, as well as a throttle only, see what the top speed is, and a brake test. We have a 160 millimeter mechanical disc brake on the rear and a traditional old school front brake with cool stop pads. Let's see what this thing's capable of. Let's have it in pedal assist level one. It is a single speed, so you're not really gonna be able to pedal like you're thinking and switching through all the gears. It's got a good feel, smooth take up so far. Pretty true to speed. Pedal assist level two. The display is actually pretty nice for what it is too, actually. Pretty tr nice, true to speed. Pedal assist level three. If I put a little bit more effort, we can go even faster. True to speed, pedal assist level four. Pretty much capped out with a single speed, pedal assist level five. Let's put a lot of effort in, see if we can reach that 23, we did. Let's push it a little harder. All right, let's see what the throttle only is capable of. All right, back here, throttle only, keeping in pedal assist level five. Ready, set, go. It's a pretty responsive throttle, actually. It wasn't really any lag there from pressing it in. Already reached 20. A little bit of a headwind. Let's see if we can get this 23 miles per hour claims on throttle only. If I get pretty low. Looks like we're pretty capped out right there. We're so close. I feel like the right circumstances, you probably could reach that 23 and there it is, right circumstances. All right, let's test out these brakes in three, two, one. Oh my God. I do have to say that the brakes aren't the best. That is easily, easily 50 to 55 feet. I think you can see that little white dot right there on the edge of the trail. It's basically where I started to slam on the brakes. The rear brakes took a little bit to lock up. I'm not gonna lie about that. The front brakes, I locked them on as hard as I could. Basically just kind of slowed down the front wheel. Um, yeah, I do think these need to be hydraulic disc brakes, which we'll talk about here as we get further in the video. Let's go review the stats. All right, so going over the stats through pedal assist one through five, we traveled a total distance of 1,404 feet with a max speed of 26.2 miles per hour, an average speed of 17.8 miles per hour, in 57 seconds, which is actually pretty impressive. I put a lot of my own effort into this pedaling to be able to achieve that 26.2 miles per hour, but I am really impressed for what it is. Let's get straight into the throttle only test. Now for throttle only, I traveled a total distance of 1181 feet with a max speed of 23.7 miles per hour, an average speed of 20.2 miles per hour in 41 seconds. Now that's actually pretty impressive because it did claim a top speed of 23 miles per hour and we were able to achieve over that with a bit of a headwind. So yeah, not too bad actually. All right, so in closing, who wins this head-to-head -head challenge between the electric BMX bikes, the Chimera Shadow, or the Project BMX by Evolved? But before I give you guys my final thoughts on this, I have to give you guys some information from Project BMX, letting you know that they are upgrading the brakes to hydraulic disc brakes because they saw my previous video knocking that hard. I really believe that those brakes on this bike suck for what the bike has. Now, with that being said, they also said they're gonna give the ability to lower the seat post. And they told me I could have hacksawed the seat post to make it lower for a fun video. But I wanna give you guys a good representation of what to expect out of both of these bikes. Now, with that being said, which one is gonna win this showdown? 
it is the Chimera Shadow, hands down. Honestly, the best electric BMX bike that is out right now, aside from its big brother, which we'll be doing a comparison with that bad boy here pretty soon as well. So if you're into the Shadow or the Project BMX, those links are in the description below. And if you guys wanna support today's video by buying something from today's video sponsor, Phantom Wallet, definitely do that as well. So if you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.